Hey everyone, it's your girl Twin D and thank you for stopping by my channel. I am a twin flame who gives her time and knowledge to other twin flames by helping you guys to escalate your twin flame journey and to get into union faster. I do my little experiments and what works, I share it with you. What does not, I share it with you also so you don't make the same mistakes I did. Hence, moving faster and more easier into union with your twin flame. And today, I'll be looking at the masculine's next step towards you. So let's jump right in. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, so let's jump right in. Let's find out what these masculine next steps are going to be. these fell out it wasn't quite shuffling but they did fell out they did fall out and here we have the man holding a coin so they're definitely coming towards you to add value to your life and I just did a reading where the first card that popped out was door to value yep and then I have attachment that's going to change so that whatever it is that was holding them back from you or keeping them back from you. It's definitely going to change because fives are all about change. And that attachment, it's going to, it's going to change because this is who you are to them. Your twin flame, the love of their life, their heart, their soul, their other partner, their other half. And they're going to release all the negativity in their life. All the things that have been stopping them from coming towards you. They're going to get rid of those so they can come forward to you. So that's basically one of the very first steps that they're going to take to release the attachment and bring value into this relationship. So divine masculines are going to be released in the attachments. Oh, yeah. For a loving, balanced family. Yeah. So their next step with you after releasing that attachment is to make everything balance to balance his family which is with you and him I love that that he's gonna make things better oh oh look now isn't this balance <laughs> two and two is four and this is a number four he wants to have a family with his twin flame he wants to make things balance with his twin flame. And he's also thinking about communicating with you. Because the yellow, when you're talking about the, the chakras, is all about thinking and planning. Thank you so much, confirmation. <laughs> and the blue is about communication. So he's definitely thinking of communicating with you. So for those who have not gotten communication, expect communication to come in. And for those whose masculines are still attached to karmics, expect the, the attachment to be broken. And for all the divine feminines who thought that the divine masculines didn't value your relationship, expect that to change. Because he's opening the door to romance. <laughs> the door to romance is definitely opening here. That's his next step. Opening a door to romance. Starting a new relationship. 
opening his heart towards you because you're the key to his heart. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at the bottom of the deck. Victory. Victory. An ending for a new beginning in number 10. So expect a new beginning, a happy family. Expect a new beginning. And these are like different stages in the Twin Flame journey, the feminines who are at different levels in the Twin Flame journey. They aren't really any stages, but what should I say for lack of a better word, or I just gotta use that word. It just tells of the level that you're at because if you just met your twin flame, there's no way he's gonna be ready to start a family with you. Even though he might just, he might be saying it right now when you just met him because that's how it is when you just met your twin flames, your twin flame, you, you make plans, you're so happy together and then all of a sudden he, run, he runs away. And for those who, who are not in communication, you can see the difference here because those who are still attached, he's gonna release the attachment and communication is definitely gonna come in for those of you who have not been getting any communication. So if you have been having communication, you know that that one's not for you. You know that the communication part of this message is not for you because you already have been having communication. Okay, but anyways, for those scenarios, you're gonna have victory because it's right here. This person is so relaxed and calm, feeling proud, even look like they're ready for a wedding or something, all dressed up or a ball, some party to celebrate, they're ready to celebrate. Let's see if I can get some more information on what these are about. Bringing out the bad boys, the right away deck. Okay, let's see. What more can you tell me about this? <laughs> Man holding a coin. The Five of Swords. This is about winning at all cost. So the value that he did not put into your relationship, he's definitely going to start putting it back into this relationship. Th these masculines are going to like, it's like they're going to change on a dime to you. They might not be saying a word may not even be looking at you. And then all of a sudden, hey, they start to look at you. They start to say hi. Because they're gaining value about you and about this connection. They know that it is of value to them. Oh, I think my cards are upside down. seeing the Ace of Swords. <laughs> Tell me about this attachment. Give me more information about this attachment. Yep, they regret it. They regret it, the Five of Cups. They regret leaving you. Some masculines left their feminines to go back to the, the, the karmic. But when they went back to the karmic, it still wasn't good. It still wasn't a good situation, even though they tried to fix the situation that they were in. They tried to fix the marriage, the commitment, the long-term relationship they were in. But it still, it still, it, it just wasn't good. All the love was gone, was spilled out. 
all the love was spilled out. There was nothing left. And in the back of his mind was the love that both of you had shared. So he's gonna, and that's the number five. And then number five, a big change is gonna happen. A big change is gonna happen. That relationship is gonna end the relationship, release all the attachments. Tell me about this yin yang. Oh, I told you I saw the Ace of Swords. A new beginning. A new beginning and we have also the Two of Swords. So we have the Ace of Swords and the Two of Swords. This masculine has made his choice. He is left with one sword to start a new beginning. He has made his decision. The truth has been revealed. He no longer has to sit and try to make a choice because already he, he has made his choice. He has made his choice, his twin flame. His twin flame and that's a new beginning right there. Tell me about this happy family. The Eight of Cups. This is them walking away from a previous marriage as was said before here. Again, the moon showed up following his intuition. Light was shown on everything that he needed to do, that he needed to clear where he should be. And he should be and with this happy family, his twin flame. Tell me about the story to romance. The thought two, 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 new love entering your life. Oh yes, new love entering your life for real. This is the Knight of Cups. He's changed, he's transformed. He's moving forward to you with love in his hand. See, he's moving away. Moving away. Somehow he stopped and got a horse. <laughs> Somehow he stopped and got a horse. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe he was tired of walking, you know? And you see how he has transformed. He's no longer in those ragged clothes. And he's no longer walking with a stick. He has transformed along the way. He has stopped, got a new whip, <laughs> got new clothes. He is just brand new and coming towards you with a cup filled with emotions. There you go. That's the door to romance. And then we have the eight of wands. This is more fast movement towards you. Confirmation, I do think so. The eight of wands moving forward towards you. The door to romance, it's opening. Communication is definitely coming in and your masculine is definitely coming in very fast too. Very fast. I love this. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look on the bottom of the deck, guys. The Ten of Cups. Happy family, happy life. Happy family, happy life. I can't. I don't know, but it's there, it's there. <laughs> I can't say it's not, it's there. Happy family, happy life. Their next step towards you. They're definitely moving towards you, coming in with communication, releasing the attachment. And you're definitely coming with the truth. Let me get some guidance card here. <laughs> I love this message. Angels, please give me some guidance for this group of masculines and feminines, please. 
He's giving some guidance messages. Career transition. Archangel Shamuel. Your life purpose is triggering a blessed career change. So maybe because some of you guys, you're on this journey. This journey is definitely going to help you to see a different way to make money. Booyah. No, everybody loves to make money. And if it's because of this journey, oh, trust me, I want more of it. <laughs> oh, somebody may be changing their job or has already changed their job for the new year, a new job coming in for the new year, moving. They're going to be moving closer to you getting a new job so they can be closer to you so they may get that new job close enough to you to make their transition easier. That's why they were planning in the last message I, I uploaded. And then we have nurture. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. So take care of yourself. I think there's someone who has a baby. Maybe, well, you're single, of course, but you didn't have much help with your child and you were stressed out, crying all the time. This journey has got you so confused. You had the baby and you had this journey making you so confused and down at all the time, depressed. But now you're being told to nurture your child. That's going to give you the comfort that you need to see through this journey. And while you do that, you're going to get comfortable within yourself. You're going to start helping and healing yourself also because that baby is going to take the attention away from this journey while everything is working out for you in the background. Anything else? Any other messages, please? Any other messages? Leadership. Archangel Gabriel. It is time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. It's the same. Lovingly guide others. Love your child. It will guide you on the right path. One more, please. <laughs> Courage, Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Maybe you've been talking to some friends about this twin flame journey and they have been discouraging you. But stand strong. Be courageous, stand up for what you believe in. Maybe some family members too, doesn't have to be friends. Then you have overcoming difficulties, Archangel Jeremiah. The worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges. So take these messages as you get them. Relax, take care of your child, take care of yourself. A new career is on the way. It's not for everybody, but you know your situation and every difficult situation that you were in, you have overcome them. It's going to get easier. Breathe. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. It's time for a new. Not to exalt the old, but to put the old down. Take care of yourselves. Love you all. Bye.